Hello everyone, myself Umar Taski and you are watching WS Cube Tech YouTube. Guys, from this video onwards, I am going to start a series on the paid tools, right? We will be discussing different paid tools which are actually used in digital marketing domain. So, I will be starting with the RFs, we will be discussing how RFs works, what are the different features of the RFs, what is Site Explorer, what is uh, Keyword Explorer, what are the different features that are associated with the RF tool. So, from this video, we are going to start with the Keyword Explorer tool, right? that is the most popular feature of the rf for what for which rf is so much popular right so we'll be start doing keyword research from rf's tool right so uh, let's straight away dive into my laptop screen and see how it actually works so here i am into my paid rf's tool and uh, if you see i have clicked over here on keyword explorer tab right so here it is and now i'm going to type few keywords over here you can start with a single keyword if you want to research for the single keyword you can you can type multiple keywords separated by comma and all those right so there are different channels also for for which you can do uh, keyword research so i'll be i'll be doing keyword research for the google and uh, my primary keyword will be digital marketing right digital marketing course suppose if i am i'm selling digital marketing courses or i do i'm having a portal where i have uploaded my digital marketing courses to sale so i want my portal to be ranked organically so i am i am going to explore keyword explorer for that purpose only that uh, oh, what what is the search volume what what is the performance of this particular keyword on google right so here is google and here is my keyword now let's straight away click on the search wait uh, here is the country also so we have to select uh, the countries from where we want to extract the keyword research so uh, here has the in india is selected by default so i'll be clicking on search and there you go so you get a lot of data over here uh, on this overview tab you, you see overview tab is mentioned over here so you'll be getting a lot of data from this overview tab also and then there are two different departments or sections that you can see keyword ideas and traffic share that also provide you different data sets right so there are a few very famous matrices of rf one is keyword difficulty also called as kd then search volume clicks cpc global volume so many matrices are there along with the pair and tropic topic right so here uh, is the keyword ideas by search volume uh, different question uh, kind of queries are here right informational queries we can call them informational queries when when a user want to search for the information related to our topic which is digital marketing he or may she may type uh, something like this right so here's also rank for and then we have SERP position history for digital marketing course so if you see if you are having these five uh, websites which are actually ranking in SERPs on this keyword digital marketing course then how these uh, urls have performed in the past so we can see how these websites have performed in the past in organic result that this this graph actually shows that thing then uh, you have a presentation you have a very beautiful presentation of the SERP right SERP overview is here and you have different SERP features over here mentioned over here you can see what features are ranking to this particular keyword right if, if you change this keyword suppose if I am typing over here digital marketing wait I am writing training over here digital marketing training right if you type digital marketing training all this data will change now the keyword difficulty for digital marketing training is quite high and if you come here and you see here are six uh, 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 SERP features available so this actually might change if you if you come with uh, come up with some other keyword you can see only three or two SERPs features are there so it actually depends that what kind of SERP features are available for what kind of keyword right so this is something like that now we have this uh, overview of the search engine result pages where different pages are ranking and you can see on what positions second third fourth fifth sixth and here the top stories uh, you can see top storage type is also there then adwords bottom and adwords top is there along with the adwords you can also see uh, the different uh, site links that are which, which that are actually associated with the adwords right or ad copy so uh, if we talk this is basically a uh, overview of the keyword right overview of the keyword what important thing is keyword difficulty which which is an index which ranges between 0 to 100 so higher the uh, higher the value on the index higher will be the difficulty level for you to rank your keyword right in a crp so this is actually calculated by comparing the search engine result pages results or we can say the search engine result pages websites with, along with your keyword so this matrix calculates in that way right and uh, then you have search volume and not click clicked so they have bifurcated this data 
then you have clicks right and uh, what kind of paid clicks or what kind of organic clicks then cost per click that you can pay and this cost per click is a basically an estimate from different search engines right it is not only limited to google it is not only limited to yahoo if you search here yahoo it is not only to limited to yahoo it is basically uh, if you can say that it's a basically a median for all those uh, search engines so that uh, they they i mean rf can actually give you the commercial value of this particular keyword right if you want to know more about the cost per click which is mentioned over here you can directly click on the help uh, option help icon over here and you can you can go in detail about this thing then you have a global volume for, uh, that is basically the volume from the different countries so there is a very detailed there is a very detailed scenario there is a very detailed representation of your keyword over here right and then you have keyword ideas now let's straight away move to keyword ideas all keyword ideas you can see these are the all keyword ideas which are mentioned over here then if you say these are something like broad match keyword ideas that we that we know uh, the things which exist in google ads the broad match keywords uh, so if, if your primary keyword which you were searching for was uh, digital marketing training and here so this is not exactly the digital marketing training if you come google.com or marketing then they are no way associated with digital marketing training we can say google.com uh, may may or may not be associated directly with digital marketing training but marketing is such a broad term that you cannot actually associate with digital marketing training so you have to keep in mind that you are right uh, right now you are actually into all keyword idea which is a very broad uh, uh, aspect over here to research the keywords then you have a keyword difficulty metric over here along with the volume clicks cost per click uh, clicks per search and then you have return rate over here and if you if you little uh, hover on this rr you, you will be seeing what what this rr means it's a relative value that indicates how often the same person searches for a uh, given keyword over 30 day period and you have parent topic SERP is right you can directly click here and so you can see how this uh, keyword is performing in the SERP is, uh, I mean to say that how when a person actually enters this keyword in the SERP what kind of results he or she is going to see so this is a uh, small SERP overview that you see related to this keyword so there is so much you can um, figure out around uh, key or keyword around your parent keyword but I will suggest if you are very accurate or you are confirmed or you do not want any other kind of keywords you do not want some broad keywords which may related which may relate to your uh, this uh, prime keyword then you can go to phrase match now phrase match uh, just filters your keywords such that uh, uh, see you see this is your keyword uh, digital marketing training so it will it will definitely come into these keywords and uh, the order the order of the words which are here in this keyword which is digital marketing training the order will not change and you will see there are so many so many keywords now these keywords are very limited now you can have some uh, if you want to research you can go to having some same terms right so, which actually means that you will be having digital marketing training term in the query in the keyword over here but uh, it's not sure that they will be in the same order as you have mentioned over here so the digital might come in between uh, marketing training or something like that right then you have uh, these all matrices which are associated with the keywords right so you can directly add this keyword to the new list just to uh, make a list or we can say that make a database for yourself so that you can easily find out the keywords which are in the list and you can uh, use that list further in different some other keyword research options and also rank for search suggestions so these are different ways through which your keyword uh, you, you are going to find actually the other keywords which are related to your keywords now this is another very great thing see if, if i'm coming to phrase match and uh, you see here a uh, few tabs are over and this these tabs are just uh, filters so if you are not using filters in rfs you are not going to find the perfect keywords right so suppose if you want to include uh, like i'll be including in jodhpur right i am going to include here in jodhpur so the my query will become now digital marketing training in jodhpur so uh, it will basically filter out the keywords which are having digital marketing training along with jodhpur so this is this this, this kind of keywords you can filter out right and uh, let me close this and find in india digital marketing training in india right so you'll be seeing some other keywords now you see digital marketing training digital marketing training is uh, mentioned over there along with that you are also adding that you want in india also over there 
so you are getting a list for that now uh, you are moving to something specific when you see you see you selected a broad term you know uh, something about your market you know something about your niche you know something about your industry you come you come up with that keyword and keep put it over here right you kept digital marketing trading now you uh, realize that there can be more filters right you can be more as specific so these are the things which brings you more exposure you can include exclude you provide you can give more clicks okay if you want to see that uh, i'm looking for a keyword whose keyword density lies somewhere between 10 to 25 and you do not want to exceed that keyword density you want to give some uh, value to that keyword density you you know that what kind of keyword density you're going to work with then you can definitely uh, put these kind of filters over there. And the volume is there, Sipart piece features are there. There's so much that you can actually play around. So if you see, the until unless you're not going to use these kind of features, you are not going to be benefited through this tool. So this is actually the keyword explorer tool. You can use this keyword explorer. This is a premium version. And if you are seeing so many options over there, if you if you buy the group by seo tool kind of a tool where you are given access there are few cases when people actually officially do not buy uh, this tool then uh, what they observe is so many options which are over here they get disappeared right they those options get disappeared and very few limited options are over there so with premium tool uh, you have that uh, you have that benefit that you are getting most of the features right like uh, site audit site audit is uh, actually missing from uh, the third party when you purchase the rs from the third party they provide you a limited access so you you are not getting site audits over there now uh, you have a traffic share option also uh, inside keyword explorer right when here is a keyword digital marketing training in search you are getting different result from this keyword right and the different results are different websites you see this entashala website is there digital marketing institute.com website is there so this uh, report actually tells you that uh, how much percentage of share right this uh, this domain is having right by traffic if if we say about the share then the share traffic is like 15% the overall traffic which is coming from this particular keyword 15% tra traffic is actually taken by or have actually covered by intershala then uh, this in this way you can actually find that uh, who is your closest competitor right then you have by pages earlier we were type, top, talking about the traffic share by domains now we are talking about the traffic share by pages so here's a report which actually shows that uh, what kind of traffic share is taken by different pages which are ranking in the search engine result pages so if you want to uh, do the keyword research then rf is definitely one of the best tools that we know and rfs usps also it's keyword research right we have different SEO tools, we have Moz, we have RFs, we have SEMrush, we have similar web. There are so many tools and they have uh, many overlapping functionalities of you can say that many overlapping features, same kind of features, same kind of analysis. They provide the same kind of analysis, but still uh, RF is very popular for its keyword explorer feature and they are exceptionally well in this uh, particular tool, right? You get a lot of information over here right suppose if you are researching for digital marketing training and sometimes what you see is keyword difficulty over here is something else or the search volume or the clicks is over here is something else and on different platforms such as google keyword planner over suggest we are seeing some different figures over there then why, why there are different figures or why there is a mismatch between these kind of figures then let me tell you guys uh, these all paid tools are actually getting data from google only so what we believe is google keyword planner is a very good tool right they are they all are getting data see if you are searching digital marketing training uh, from from google search engines point of view then oh, who better than google can actually provide you the data right so google uh, knows everything google has better data and rfs or other tools also collect data from google servers only from google only but uh, they also rely if if we talk about the different mismatch in the data of google keyword planner and uh, rf or any other paid uh, pay, pay tool so that is just because uh, these paid tools also gather data from the other third party sources other third party internet monitoring sources other third party crawlers also so there is a, there is a data mismatch but but you can you can rely on them also you can work with google keyword planner also 
there is so much right but one thing that they these pay tools offer is actually competition research right uh, the competition research or the competitive research features are not very good or they uh, if we if we say not very good uh, that is that will be not right but if we say that google does not support actually doing competitor research from their platform right so we are actually dependent on these kind of the third party tools just to uh, ensure that we make good competitor research so uh, that's it for the today's uh, video we have explored so many options so many features from keywords explorer tab in rf see you in the next video with some other content maybe we will be talking about site explorer or rank tracker or how can we add projects into rf uh, those stuffs right so uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video see you in the next video till then a very good bye